Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create an e-commerce project in Laravel using a package called MEOS. This is actually really simple and I'll show you everything step by step from the very beginning. So you'll be able to create a website like this, which is a fully complete e-commerce website. You will also get the admin dashboard with this package as well. So in order to create e-commerce website like this, we need to go to the MEOS documentation. So here I have the MES documentation you can see in the github so I'll give this link in the description so that you can check it out and here if we just go down here you can see the uh, you will see the installation process and before that you just need to make sure that your PC version is greater than 8.0.11 and your composer version is 2.2 plus so if your composer is not greater than 2.2 then you can just run this command but if your composer is already 2.2 plus then you don't have to run this command okay so we can just directly move to this command which is composer create project meos slash meos my show so here you can see php we don't need to copy the php we only copy the composer create project meos slash meos my shop so before we run this command we need to make some changes in our xam folder in the xam folder we just need to uh, enable two extensions so uh, let me just go to my folder over here i'll go to my local disk c over here i install my xam so i'll go inside the xam then i'll go to the psp folder and inside php we have psp.ini this one okay so i'll just open it open with uh, notepad so from here we are going to search for gd over here press enter and here you can see gd and by default it will be disabled over here so we need to make it enable so we'll just remove this semicolon from here and over here you can see one more thing and that is extension intl so we'll also remove the semicolon so it will also enable the intl okay so we can just save this and then we can just close this so after this, uh, what we need to do is that we just need to copy this command. So this command will create a e-commerce website. So we'll just copy this command and let's say we want to create a project, let's say in our new volume D over here. So we we'll just open a command prompt over here. Then let me just zoom in and paste the command. So the command is composer create project meos slash meos my shop. So this will be the project name. If you want, you can change the project name from here. Let's say my shop to my e-commerce shop or anything. Okay. So I'll just keep it the way it is and press enter. So it will take some time to create our project. It will take around like five minutes to install meos e-commerce project. So right now I'll just fast forward the video. So when you are installing the package at some point it will ask for the TV connection and here you can see I am using my SQL and it is also showing my SQL so I can just press enter over here then it will ask for the host name I'll just press enter port name again enter and here you can see DB database so by default it will get the database name as Laravel so we'll say our database name will be Lara MEOS let's say you can give it any name or database so I'll just press enter so this will be our database name so username will be root the password is now and we can just skip this part mail setup we will just press enter over here mail password close and there you can see it is done right now so here you can see it migrated all the necessary tables for our project and after that it will ask for our admin account email so we need to give it email address for our admin let's say our address will be admin at the top gmail.com press enter then it will ask for a password we'll give password on two three four five six seven eight and press enter and we are done so right now we just need to go to the project directory okay let me just show you the project so over here you can see my project is created over here here you can see my shop over here so let me just go to the project directory so i'll just say over here cd my shop and then we'll just run our project we'll say over here php artisan serve and press enter 
So there you guys, our project is running right now. So right now, let's go to our browser over here. And you can just copy this from here. Control C and we paste it in the browser over here. So there you can see our project is created over here. This is a complete e-commerce project as you can see. And uh, let me just show you the admin dashboard. So if you want to go to the admin dashboard in the URL, you need to see over here slash admin. Then it will ask for login over here. So our email is admin at the of gmail.com. And let me just keep the password, click login. And there you can see we are currently in the admin dashboard. If you want, you can change the uh, admin dashboard color from here. Here you can see the sign for changing the dashboard color over here. So we we'll keep it black and here you can see we have a lot of option over here. And here you can see get a lock. If I just click get a lock, here you can see the product option. We can update any product from here if you want. For example, let's say we want to update this product. So here you can see this option or if you just click on the image, it will take you to the uh, product edit page. And here you can see media. Let's say we want to change the image from this to another thing. Uh, let's say we will choose this image, click open and here you can see the image is updated. And right now if you just click save, here you can see the image is updated over here. You can see it item save successfully. If you want, you can also change the price to different things as well. You stop 100, you can see over here $10 or anything and then click save over here. So right now if you just go to the product again. And here you can see the image over here that is changed over here. You can even search the image by ID code or by level over here as well. If we just search this one, control C, control V over here, search. And you can see that only this product is over here. So this is really useful. You can almost do anything uh, that e-commerce website is able to do. You can also see the customer from here. If there is any customer then you can see a lot of setting and setup option over here you can set a theme from here you can choose the theme color from here as well and uh, if there is also some basic logo setup icon setup over here so basically this is a complete e-commerce size you if you want you can just modify the design little by little if you want so right now let me just log out from here and here you can see this button so this will let us log out from here so if I just click over here, it will take us to the home page over here. And uh, I just updated the image. So let me just go to the new arrival. Uh, over here, you can see the image that we just updated. Okay. So we can also add the product to the basket. Here you can see a basket option. This is basically cart option. If we just click over here, here you can see it is added to the basket. So let's just here you can see the basket over here. If I just click over here, we can see the product from here. We can add one more product from here. And if you click checkout, it will take us to the over uh, to this space over here. So basically this is the complete e-commerce website. Now let's say if you want to modify the project design a little bit you can do that as well so if you want to modify anything okay let me just show you i already opened the project in my sublime text over here so here if you just go to the vendor folder over here and in the vendor folder here you can see amios folder is created over here so let's just open the amios folder and here you can see ai admin graph sql this three folder is for admin and here you can see ai client this three folder or two folder is for the client and here you can see controller front end, then controller jobs there is a few more folder and they just separate everything in this folder over here in this folder you will see everything related to admin so here in the client here you can see we have the template over here for the client side client side means uh, this side okay the home page so if you want to modify anything, you just need to study a little bit in order to just modify them. Uh, this is really simple. You just need to check out the code. But uh, there is one more thing that is uh, here. You can see that uh, this is the mus.org. If you want to learn how you can modify something here, you can see the rules over here. You can just check this out by yourself. How you can do anything. 
uh, or how you can modify anything in the website. So this is all about this tutorial. I hope you learned something new for this tutorial. And if you want to learn about more e-commerce packages like this, then you can check out the video on the screen that you are probably seeing right now. So thanks again for watching. If you subscribe to this channel, I really appreciate that. And also I'll upload more tutorials like this in the future as well. So thanks again for watching. I hope to see you in the future tutorials.